This graph gives information about the flow chart of the apple. To begin with, we can see that there are several sections in this picture, including bud swelling, bud opening, flower bud, flowering, fruit set, fruit development, maturation, and harvest. According to the graph, it begins with the process of bud swelling. It takes one week from bud swelling to bud opening. Last but not least, it ends with the process of harvest. It takes days from maturation to harvest. In conclusion, I think it is very beneficial because it tells me the information of the flowchart of the apple. This graph gives information about the process flowchart of steel. To begin with, we can see that there are several sections in this picture, including collection, sorting of biomagnet, steel slugging, um, grading, furnace, forming, flatter, and products. According to the graph, it begins with the process of collect collecting steel cans and bottles. Last but not least, it ends with the process of flattering the, um, to make end products. In conclusion, I think it is very beneficial because it tells me the information of process flowchart of steel in a factory. This flowchart gives information about the five steps of an Alvarius works. To begin with, we can see that the five steps are named adsorption, entry, replication, assembly, and release respectively. According to the graph, the virus would first connect itself to a host cell and put its hereditary material to it. Last but not least, we can see that the hereditary material is copied and a new virus starts to form inside the cell. And after new viruses are released, the host cell is destroyed. In conclusion, this picture helps us to understand why such a small virus can be so fatal to cells.
This flowchart shows information about the process of um, developing a system. To begin with, we can see that there are several sections in this picture, including identification, development, creation, implementation, and measurement. According to the graph, it begins with the process of identifying the problem in the current system and prototyping a new system to review. Last but not the least, it ends with the process of me measuring and maintaining the new system to see if it is applicable. In conclusion, I think it is very beneficial because it tells me the information of process flowchart of developing a system. The flowchart gives us information about the procedure of solving a problem. To begin with, we can see that the first step is that people need to state the problem and ideas will be generated at the second step. According to the graph, the third step is to select a solution through brainstorms and build items at the fourth step. Last but not least, after the evaluation, which is the fifth step, people need to present results. In conclusion, the circle will restart again from the very first beginning. It is a very useful flowchart to improve the efficiency of problem solving skills. If you don't want to miss these useful videos, please subscribe the channel and click on notification icon. You'll get notified once a new video is uploaded. Please share with your friends and family if you think it's useful to them. And if you want us to make more videos on specific topic leave comments. And finally thanks for watching.